so I have a photo that I took of some spider wart outside for my photo reference and I'm just bringing it up in a Photoshop and then I did a little bit of a levels adjustment just to make sure that the colors kind of stood out. Um, just to let you know, I got this really nice kind of blue gray color because I mixed a Payne's gray with a little bit of ultramarine and there's still some of it right there left there. I'm going to use my size size 4 brush and uh, use that today. Um, I really am going to keep these brushes nice and neat because uh, these were more expensive for uh, brushes. I've never spent that much for paint brushes before, um, but definitely one of the big differences that I know um, from watching the video, I'm going to put my hand underneath it a bit, um, they have a video which I will link in the description box about how these are made. But it's the amount of water that they will hold in the paintbrush, but then it is also um, the brush point. It really makes a nice fine point. I have had other paintbrushes and they just wear out really quickly. The cheaper the paintbrush, definitely the tip of the brush is going to make a huge difference. The cheaper the brush, I've had brushes where this part called the ferrule, it just pops off because it's been sitting in the water too long and they just kind of like fall apart. I've had ones where the handles get all cracked and you know just fall apart. So over time you know your brushes do wear out but like my first reaction to using this paintbrush is wow this holds a lot of water and the point of the brush is just so nice. Okay so highly recommend these paintbrushes and it's the Windsor & Newton Series 7 brushes. I don't know if you can see that, but Series 7, okay? All right, so I've got my watercolor. I'm just going to go ahead and...
make certain that I don't um, leave it in the cup of water that I have here because it will um, really damage the points of your brushes. If you leave your brushes in the water um, for too long of a period, it causes them to bend and warp um, on the hair. So you don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to go ahead and lay it flat here and let it rest while I Thank you. 